EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From TPC Boston, it's live second round coverage of the Boston Open. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader, Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Really, it's a waste after that tee shot. Uh, just very average approach. A birdie putt at one. We check in with Nota Begay. And a very makeable look here. Not too much undulation at all. Maybe just a slight move to the right. Nope. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And he'll remain right where he is. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. The beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. It'd be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot. But really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? Problems there, finishing off a birdie at number two. And he moves it to two under par. Boy, this is just way too much club for a front hole location that was completely overcooked. He has a 12-footer here. That one just going to sneak on by.
He'll go ahead and finish that off. It's in for his bogey. And he'll fall back to one under par. Oh, he's taking a big run at this. This one just about straight at it for Eagle. Had a pretty good run at it. That would have been a nice eagle, but couldn't quite find the line. Not much to that. It is a birdie here at four. Will certainly help the cause. And this, a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And even though this is a long way out, there's not a lot going on here. Fairly level overall, not much movement to speak of. Mm, that's a bit offline. And it'll leave a good four feet coming back. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth, and he'll stay at two under. Oh, gonna be watching this one intently. Those trees are like brick walls today. Hit that and went straight down into the rough. Ball sitting okay here for his second here at the sixth. Well on the green, but far from the hole. A little bit of a head scratcher. A lot of work coming up here. One thing's for sure, he's going to have to hit this one with some pace, traveling uphill much of the way. Yeah, from that far away, anything inside of five feet, it's pretty darn good. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth. And he'll stay right where he is.
has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll remain right where he is. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. You got to think two putts will work out fine from here, but this is a long look for birdie. What a putt there from a long way out. That somehow goes down for a birdie. And he's going to get this to three under par. Frank, I don't know about you, but I love a good hot dog and a soda at the turn. Of course, it tastes a lot better after you've made par. How difficult is that proposition here at the ninth? Well, if you stray with your tee shot here, you'll be making hamburgers, that's for sure. There, good tee shot in the short grass. Now a second here from 167. Maybe a little too pumped up there. That just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. A 
Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that's gonna make this a 234 for the front side. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. We know he can move it. That ball was absolutely bombed. Now comes the touch shot, 83, 84 yards. See if he can play that two check skipper and get it to stop. This one's looking good. Oh, just needed that little bit more. I know it's 10 feet, but come on, I want it a little bit closer. Seven feet now for Birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A Birdie here at 10. And with it, he's going to move to within three of the lead. Moving now to the toughest par three at TPC Boston. The 11th is 231 yards, featuring a huge bunker down the right side of the putting surface. Shots to the left do have a tendency to funnel down toward the green. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Oh, missed the green at the par three. No problem. That is in from off the putting surface for an unlikely two. 12th hole now looking at 461 yards on this par four. It doesn't look like there's much trouble off the tee, and that's because the trouble's with the second shot that has it to the right of the screen. Now, it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. All right, so just a step or two into that first cut. Here's his second to the par four. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Okay, that should be inside of 10 feet, not too bad. steps there it is a par here at 12 and he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead that one looking a little right Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here.
Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Now, in my book, that's a good shot. You can really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close, and you'd have plenty of birdie putts. Nope. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. That is going to wind up missing the target by a good margin. And that will be no bargain in there. Notice down there, is that as bad as it looks? Frank, it wasn't the sexiest shot, but it was an important one. How was he able to extricate himself from that heavy rough with a middle iron? I don't know, Rich. Uh, maybe we've got a new contestant for Mr. Universe, because it takes some muscle to get it out of that thick stuff, especially when you don't have that much loft. A five iron, that's a dodgy call. <laughs> Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And he'll stay at 500. That is right, and that could be trouble. Ooh, and that went straight down. That's going to be tough from there. Going to take an extra club or two to get out of this mess as he sets for his second. Now, that's not a bad shot. And the reason why I say that, you see the light, thick, heavy, rough, just to forge that one out and get it on the green. Good going. Just five feet left. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll stay right where he is. He 
TPC Boston's finishing stretch beginning at the picturesque 161-yard par 316th, water guarding the front and left rear of the putting surface with a stone wall protecting the two-tiered green. Okay, safely aboard. This one, not for the faint of heart. Down a big slope, though it is for birdie. Oh, that is so nicely judged from that far away. That required a lot of touch down the slope. Well done. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Little bit of an awkward distance for this, his second. It's all about the grooves on the wedge there. That ball right on target and didn't need to release. Nicely done. The birdie finished off here at 17. And he's going to get to within two of the lead as he moves to five under par. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, that's how to end it. Back-to-back -back birdies at 17 and 18. And that will be a big improvement over round one. It's a second round score of 65. Frank, the great thing about TPC Boston, it generates...